A man from St. Clair Shores is on the front lines in the fight against the coronavirus. Jason McClellan's lab was the first to make a key discovery in the structure of the virus, which paved the way for a vaccine. Our Heather Catalo joins us live to tell us more about this. Heather? Well, Dave, Jason McClellan grew up right here in Michigan. Now he's in Austin, Texas, where his team is doing breakthrough work on the coronavirus. When he first heard about the coronavirus in China late last year, Michigan native Jason McClellan and his team at the University of Texas at Austin jumped into action. As soon as it was confirmed to be a coronavirus and the genome was published, we got to work. We got to apply all of our prior knowledge for making these stabilized spikes. McClellan's lab and his colleagues at the National Institutes of Health had already been researching coronaviruses like SARS and MERS since 2013. We started working on the structure. They began coordinating with Moderna to get the first vaccine uh, formulated. And it's been pretty amazing that within, I think, less than 90 days, we went from the genome of a virus to a phase one clinical trial. Normally, that process can take decades. McClellan's team in Austin had the virus spike protein mapped by mid-February. That looks like this. Knowing the coronavirus structure and identifying its mutations means researchers can figure out how to fight it. We and others are using it to, uh, as a probe, so we can kind of use this as bait, like going fishing, and uh, we can incubate it with cells or blood of people that have been infected with the coronavirus identify antibodies that bind to it, fish them out, and then potentially those can be scaled up and injected into people. McClellan grew up in St. Clair Shores, and his parents, brother, and sister still live in Metro Detroit. McClellan went to Wayne State before moving on to Johns Hopkins School of Medicine, the National Institutes of Health, and now Texas. He says he's proud his team was ready to lead the way in this crucial fight against COVID-19. Uh, we think coronaviruses are going to continue to emerge into the human population with some frequency every five to ten years. Uh, ultimately, what we're trying to do is create a universal coronavirus vaccine or intervention that could be used for all known coronaviruses, including ones that haven't even emerged yet. Now, Jason McClellan says they hope that the vaccine will be ready in about 18 months. That may sound like it's a long way off, but it's actually unprecedented. We'll keep you posted on their progress. Reporting live, I'm Heather Catalo, 7 Action News.